What a joy to be together again and to taste the goodness of the age to come, but at the present time too, with our Lord Jesus Christ, who promised his presence for every two people that come together listening the word of God, as we are doing right now. Uh, I just observed uh, on the journey of my life that myself and many other people would have done way better, way much, way more profound, way more higher, if they would have understand the nature of the work they were doing and the process and um, the means and the ways uh, that need to be uh, involved with the process. But they didn't understand. They started walking without understanding the destination very well. Uh, they started working without understanding the process very well. And sometimes our pride um, stands between us and truth uh, concerning the calling of our life. Uh, it appears that um, it's a sign of, I don't know how to call it, but uh, of a weak person uh, asking questions or on many questions and detailed questions and stuff. Yeah, it might appear being weak, but it is very strong. The person who understood very well what he is supposed to do, and especially the person who understood the nature of his own life, the nature of his own work, that person uh, already executed more than half of that work in his uh, on her, on her or her life. I would like to share with you a very precious quotation from C.S. Lewis. Humanity does not pass through phases as a train passes through stations. Uh, you know, many times life was um, compared uh, or illustrated as being a train that goes and um, uh, happiness are very short stops and uh, uh, long time in different railway stations, in bad times, waiting and waiting to go. It, it was compared with a train. From a certain perspective, it's true that uh, life is flowing, it's going. But from, a, from another perspective, and uh, just to watch the idea of this profound man of God, life is not a train going and leaving behind uh, short or long stops, happy or unhappy times, uh, things like that. Humanity does not pass through faces as a train passes through stations. Being alive, it has the privilege of always moving, yet never leaving anything behind. You take everything with you. You don't. You you are traveling through life, but you do not leave behind certain things. They come with you, um, either as a memory or uh, as a token, in a way or another. Whatever we have been, says C.S. Lewis, in some sort, we are still, because uh, we say a past is past. Yes, it's past, but. Um, it's completely uh, preserved in our own being. It left its mark on our being. Now, uh, life is not a train going through different stations and uh, leaving them behind, uh, as C.S. Lewis says, but taking everything in and um, becoming with every, every single act that passing. If we go a little farther, we'll, we'll find a different definition from our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, as my experience is, uh, my experience of life and the experience of our world uh, proved, uh, nobody ever improved on God when he defined something that was the pure truth. So Jesus does not define life as a train going through stations. Uh, he defines life as a bank. Uh, as a treasury, with a treasurer, with deposit and withdrawal. And it, this is a different, completely different illustration. This is the real nature of our life. If we understand the real nature of our life, then uh, we'll move accordingly. We'll act, we'll do stuff in the light of this 
understanding. Let's go together in Luke, uh, Gospel of Luke, Dr. Luke, uh, chapter 6 and uh, verse 45. Now let's watch together. A good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart. So life is a treasury. Yes, is a treasury where we deposit thoughts, actions, um, acceptance, rejections, everything that happens in life, it's not lost according to C.S. Lewis. And uh, according to Jesus, it's deposited in the treasury of our life. It's not lost. It, it's coming with us. So what are you depositing? What am I depositing? Do I understand that whatever I do, uh, I speak, I work, I travel, I um, do stuff around. Do I understand? Am I conscious that uh, what am I doing? It's a deposit. It will stay with me. Do I understand that I will never be free of what am I am doing? And this could be positive. Praise God. <laughs> the memory will stay with me or the effect or the, or the impact in, on, on my life. Uh, or, or bad, in a bad situation, uh, also, they will stay with me. Do I realize that nothing moves, nothing in connection with my life moves outside of my life? They become part of my life. Whatever I do, they become part of my life. Like we, we eat. We eat something, potatoes or vegetables. They become part of our body. That's, that's nature. It is the same with life. Whatever we deposit in the treasury of our lives, it will stay there and it will come a time when we will withdraw uh, out of this treasure. What can we withdraw from there? Uh, we can withdraw only what we deposited there. That's, that's the law. Understanding the nature of our lives as a treasury, as Jesus defines it, uh, makes us uh, very careful, very careful in what I deposit. I, uh, for example, I avoided in my life to see images, negative stuff. I, I, I never watched anything, anything like that. Or um, if uh, if accidentally I was anywhere in public and anything like that happened, I didn't make that the preoccupation of my observation. I just look in the other direction. Because I knew everything is deposited. I, I put a deposit in the treasury of my life. And it will come a time, sometimes when you are on your knees in prayer, it comes a time when you with, withdraw something from the treasury of your heart. Sometimes pleasant, sometimes unpleasant. So uh, knowing that life is not a train going, uh, speeding through different stations, and knowing that life is a, is a treasury, knowing that you are the one that deposit, you are the one that withdraw, you are going to step in life very carefully. You are going to ask yourself, is it worth uh, depositing this kind of words that I am going to say about that person or about that situation? Is it worth depositing uh, my reaction to other situation? Is this kind of reaction, is it worth depositing? It will be there. When I will withdraw from the treasury of my heart, will I be blessed or not? That's the first question. So that makes me and you and all of us to select very carefully what we do or say based on because of the fact that it's not a train going, it's a treasury where we put deposit. So let's continue the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, Luke 6, 45. Uh, there is a good treasury, the treasury of a good heart. Uh, uh, the, the, the good person produces what he deposited there. That's, that's the law of heaven, the law of existence, the law of life. And an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. It's unavoidable. Uh, God suffers. Uh, as we sometimes as parents, uh, we can see the tendency or uh, the, the course of things in the life 
of our children and, and we suffer. God suffers when he sees that we deposit in the treasury of our hearts values, negative values. They, they, they shouldn't be there because they stay there and they're multiplied in time. And um, David speaks about his own heart after committing those heinous crimes. He said, I could not find rest. I was tossing in my bed. I was, my body was drying up uh, like dirt. And I, I, was, I was feeling so bad until God liberated me, liberated my soul. Being, uh, these things being said, uh, let's pray together that we will walk in life knowing and understanding very well the importance, first of all, the nature of our life, that is not a train, it's a treasury, and then understanding the process that we deposit and we withdraw from the treasury of our hearts and the necessity of making a blessed deposit in our hearts in order to have a blessed withdrawal later. Many people in the later years of life um, complain about their health that they wasted in their youth. They deposited unhealthy things in their, in their treasury of their lives, um, uh, uh, sleepless nights and uh, anger and uh, desperation and depression and stuff like that. And in the, in the later years, they withdraw. I feel this kind of pain because of that situation. I uh, feel the, my liver or my heart or my kidneys, they don't work well because I know what I did. What kind of deposit are we making for later time? Precious Lord, I'm so glad to be here with the family of our young people and everybody watching this material. And um, I pray that you will imprint deep in our souls uh, the true picture of our lives, as you presented in the gospel, it's not a train passing, it's a treasury. Help us always to deposit holy, blessed things in the treasury of our hearts and help us avoid any kind of negative deposit. Help us to, to enjoy looking back in life uh, at the things that we treasured in our life and may among all treasures imaginable, you be the highest, the most blessed, the most desired one. In Jesus' name, amen.